Hello, Jared the Cat 88 here. Doing a uh, quick summary of Ruby Chibi. Now, right now, it's only for sponsors on the Rooster Teeth website. But if you wait one week, you'll be able to watch it. And I know a lot of people did not want to give this show any chance at all. Hell, I didn't want to give it a chance at all. Because I like that going from lighthearted to dark as fuck vibe. But nevertheless, Ruby TV has been on my mind all day. So I bought a sponsorship, said, okay, I'll re I'll watch it, I'll give it a shot. I mean, it's only one episode. It's a little over three and a half minutes long. And Damn, it was good. It's one of the It's cute, it's hysterical. Now, I'm not going to go into details, but it's more like four little mini bits. Like, you know, there's like, there's a short one. There's, <laughs> there's a, <laughs> some really funny ones. And if you've seen the trailer over at the showings for Ruby, TV, over for the showings of Ruby Volume 1, which I completely regret that I missed, despite the fact I have it on DVD. It's adorable as hell. It's funny as hell. So, I personally recommend Ruby Chibi for you, the viewer. Now, if you really want the dark, brooding shit that's been going on lately, pass over. If you want, if you're one of the fans that you liked the series when it was originally cute and lighthearted, but with a lot of action, well, if you pass. Get over a little bit of like the lack of action bit, but more for the comedy and cuteness that I highly regard. Highly regard. What the fuck? I highly recommend Ruby Chibi for you, the viewer. Anyway, this is Jared the Cat 88 with a short review. Have a good one.